welcome to part three of the three daily energy hacks for inspired, motivated and passionate female entrepreneurs who want to stay on top of their game. My name is Leonie Beck and I am a Qigong wellness mentor and I am so excited to share this next technique with you. So last part we were looking at the fear of being visible and putting ourselves out there. And the number two biggest challenge that I see with my clients and other female entrepreneurs is confusion and lack of focus and direction. And there's just so much going on. We get caught up in this busyness and we feel overwhelmed and there is just no spaciousness and our bodies clench up and we tighten and everything gets controlled and restricted. So this next technique is called double eel and it is this beautiful luscious movement where we just forget about all of that nonsense for the moment. We be present in our body and we let things just flow. These fluid movements we start to feel into our body, we can let go of that overwhelm, that confusion, let that go and just let that natural flowing of energy move through our body, relax tension and then quite often I do this and after maybe even just like three, four minutes, I start to get a little bit more clarity and focus and direction and then retune back into that intuitive center that we all have within us. So this exercise is incredibly beautiful. I really hope you enjoy it. And um, please don't mind the, my hair going everywhere. I couldn't find my elastic band, so um, you'll still get a gist for it. And please practice with your eyes closed because once you've got the movement, don't worry about looking at me. Feel into your body and please enjoy. Okay, let's go. So just like in part two, find yourself in a comfortable stance, maybe the feet are hip distance or shoulder width apart, and we're looking for that one straight line again. So the cross between the feet, at the center of the feet, up the perineum and out the crown of the head. We want that all in one straight line. So maybe finding a soft bend through your knees, maybe the top of the hips come back a little bit to straighten out through the lumbar spine so that there's either a flat, nice straight upright spine or maybe even a small rounding out through the lumbar spine and then have an upward lift through the crown of the head. Relaxing the arms beside the body and then keep your belly super soft and relaxed, just like in part one. And from here, we're gonna try and move from our dantian, our lower abdomen. So this time as you breathe in, start to circle your hands up the front of the body, open the chest, circling through the elbows, wrists and shoulders. And as you exhale, cascade down and keep the round through your lower back rather than poking the butt out. Breath in, the lower abdomen, the energy raises up. We open up the front of our body. Mm, breath out, cascade and flow down and soften through all the muscles. Let the energy open yourself up as you breathe in from the lower abdomen, the energy raises up the front body. And as you breathe out, returning the energy back down to the lower abdomen, really soft through the belly, through the spine through all of your joints, elbows, shoulders and wrists. Mm, keep as relaxed and soft as you can, waving the body up with the breath in. Mm, cascading the body down as you breathe out. You can stay at center just like this if you're enjoying it and make sure you're not doing it in a physical, mechanical, muscular kind of way. Just let your body surrender to the wave up as you breathe in. Like you're getting floated on clouds and then cascading down without control as you breathe out. If this is starting to feel really good and you'd like to take it in further directions on your next breath in, you might like to turn 45 degrees towards the right. Breathing in, floating up. Mm, breathing out, staying 45 degrees to the right as you cascade down and keep both feet facing forward because we want to stimulate the meridian lines on the side of the body. Mm, soft, fluid, gentle movements, really opening up all of those energy channels, removing stagnation, getting rid of physical tension and just being really present in your body. So letting go of any mental anguish, stress and mental tension. And if 45 degrees towards the right is feeling really good, you might like to take it a bit further and going 90 degrees towards the right. But if that doesn't feel comfortable or good in your body, don't worry about it. 
Mm, soft, gentle movements, almost as the clouds are carrying your body up, energy flowing up, and then gently flowing down with your breath out. If 90 degrees is feeling really good for you, you might like to take it 135 degrees to the right, but if that's feeling too much or it's creating any tension or discomfort in your body, don't worry about it and stay at a range that feels really good for you. Mm. Really feel that opening down the side of the body. And then return to center when you've had enough on the right side. One or two double eels gliding smoothly through silky water at the center and then taking it 45 degrees to the left. And we're looking for this to feel really good, relaxing the muscles so that the energy just flows really fluidly. Forgetting about any mental anguish just right now and being really present in your body and the sensations you're feeling. If 45 degrees to the left is feeling good and you want to take it further, maybe trying out 90 degrees towards the left. Notice what you're feeling. I'm feeling tingling and heat in my palms. I'm feeling sensation down my side body, up my legs. Maybe for you it's more of just feeling some nice physical sensations that are different. Don't worry about if you're not really feeling anything, just be present in your body. And then of course 135 degrees if you're really enjoying it and if your body is open to it, but don't be worried if that's too much or it's not feeling good for you. And then when you're ready, returning to center. scooping up a large bucket of energy from the earth, drawing it into the center of your chest as you breathe in and then as you breathe out, gently lowering it back down. Left hand to the lower abdomen, right hand just on top, and taking that moment of stillness to just be present in your body and enjoy what you're feeling. So thank you so much for joining me on this three-part series. Hopefully you've enjoyed these exercises. I am super excited to keep in contact with you. If you have any questions, please send me an email, leone at leonebeck.com. Have a look at my programs. I'd love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I have a beautiful Inner Alchemy 10-week transformational journey that I absolutely love sharing with my clients. If you have any questions, please send me messages. I love to hear from fellow entrepreneurs, especially females that are really going for it in their own unique capacity. Um, and I'll see you soon. Take care.